This week, the CDC issued its strongest guidance yet, urging pregnant women to get the COVID vaccine. Multiple studies indicate there is more risk in not getting vaccinated. Paula Tutman spoke with a local doctor who faced that very difficult decision. For Dr. and Dr. Weatherhead, he a pulmonologist, she an OBGYN for Henry Ford Hospital Macomb, this joyous gift of a healthy baby is even more significant because of what it took to get him here. A river of fear and uncertainty that started with the very negative impact of a positive COVID diagnosis last November. Um, based on the timing, I think it was from a patient that I saw in the office. And then Dr. Megan Weatherhead suffering from COVID, feeling the worst she's ever felt. But just severe body aches, severe fatigue, um, horrible, horrible headache to the point that I was crying because nothing I was taking was helping. Got the best news she could ever get at the worst possible time. So I isolated and was in the home for 14 days. During that time, I found out I was pregnant. Anecdotally, she started connecting dots from the things she'd seen with her own patients who were pregnant with COVID. Because I had been seeing so many women who tested positive who had miscarriages. And though she had an early reluctance to get vaccinated while pregnant, the science said it was safe. And so around 30 weeks, she did. As more of the data came out, there was multiple studies that showed women who had had the vaccine and become pregnant, women who have got the vaccine during pregnancy and they were showing there weren't any adverse outcomes compared to just not getting vaccinated. But when she posted about it on her own social media to let women know that as a scientist, she was paying attention to the science. I felt like I was under attack. Um, I had people telling me that I would miscarry or that I was harming my child. And so a mother proud of her beautiful baby, afraid to show his face or even say his name, still steps out in courage to tell other women her story. What we do know is that pregnant women are at higher risk of getting severe infection. Well, it's a horrible reality, but it's the truth. Some of it is when you're pregnant, your immune system is somewhat suppressed, and that's to prevent your body from rejecting your own baby. So it also makes it harder to fight off infections. When it comes down to making a decision, it's a decision I wish nobody had to even make. I wish we could say, yes, wait till you're outside of pregnancy. But when it comes down to it, it's, it's real and it's here and we can't, we can't wait on that. You know, Dr. Weatherhead wants to make it very clear that she is not preaching. She's simply telling her story, but telling her story, Jason, in hopes that other women will do research, r real research, not listening to somebody who said something, who said something from somebody else, but real research and talking to their doctors so that they can really make that tough decision, but that decision nonetheless, um, and following the science, understanding that getting vaccinated has fewer risks than not getting vaccinated for pregnant women. That's what the science says, Jason. Yeah, real research, very important. Hopefully the people that didn't do that saw your story just now. Paula, thank you.